Hi there, Renee Austin, Little Massachusetts. It's marked on my heart and mind as a Catholic. And there's this culture war out there and they're targeting specifically Catholics on the right. And um, I just look at what's in my feed on YouTube even. And the thing is the algorithms of outrage is so profitable. Just like, oh, look at this woke thing over here. Look at this woke thing, see, see? And you can get like like 10,000 views. Oh my God. You know, and it it's just all crap, right? It's just, it just, but it gets views. And it's so hard and it's painful to watch. And I'm thinking about my time again on Twitter and how I avoided that. And I should be so proud of myself, you know? And hopefully the, the stuff that I make, the content I'm making on YouTube, it's not great. Right? It's just me talking to the phone at this point. And I only get maybe 20 views at most. But it's just a reminder that, you know, the algorithm and the outrage. Because you see these accounts. And there are certain trigger storylines, right? That fit the narrative that hits the spot with, like, people who lean right. They, they've done the data, right? They know. Like, I see what are the most popular views. Usually it's something about, like, the parents and transing the kids in the school or the kidnapping of the child. And you just follow the algorithm of rage and anger and bitterness. And, you know, the, I've been looking at some content creators. And it's like they're so bitter and they're so angry always they don't even really get that many views you know this one woman I, I don't understand why she's still online even but she's just so on the same way though I'm bitter and I'm angry but I'm trying to cope a little bit better I try to put something positive in there um the prayers you know I, I gave insight like the storyline um the goodness that can happen when you're not in the culture war but people just get swallowed up into it, right? Unfortunate. Love you all.